Hey, what's happening everyone? It's Kevin Anson with TheVideoCourse.com. In this super brief lesson, I'm gonna show you how to do some simple dialogue audio sweetening inside of Adobe Premiere, also known as audio compression. There are, of course, a whole host of other amazing programs out there to accomplish the same effect and do it better, but when you're low on time and low on budget, you can accomplish a very nice compression right inside of Adobe Premiere, and you can do it in just five seconds. Also, towards the end of the lesson, I'm gonna show you a quick trick that I like to use to speed things up when I'm adding this filter to a bunch of clips. Let's check it out. All right, so we're inside of Adobe Premiere. This is our dialogue track of this gentleman here speaking. Below is just the music bed. We're gonna add a filter to this dialogue track to kind of compress the audio. So let's listen to what it sounds like before we add the filter. Being the 20th annual study was a real treat for us because we got a chance to not only... And then let's listen to it after the filter is applied. Being the 20th annual study was a real treat for us because we got a chance to not only... Sounds a lot better. The audio is stronger and it just stands out way better above the music bed. All right, here's how we do it. So if I go to the effects tab up here, I'd start typing in dynamics. D, Y, N, it's already starting to pop up. If I double click on this, it's gonna add that effect to this layer here. So if we go to the effects controls tab, click on edit, we're gonna get this box that pops up. 99% of the time, the numbers that I type in are the same, and I'm gonna show you those numbers right now. Negative 10.193 and 4.24, and that is all. So if you listen to the difference between the before and after of how this clip sounds, you're definitely gonna hear a difference between the two. The vocals will be a lot stronger, it will just sound better, and it'll actually allow the dialogue to stand out above the music bed. One other trick I like to do too is, let's say I wanna add that same filter to all of these dialogue tracks here, but I don't wanna to have to add that filter to each one individually. Click on that track and go to Copy, and select all of these clips, right click, and go to Paste Attributes. This box is gonna pop up, and make sure the effect that you wanna copy over is checked here, and hit OK. Now, you just added that Dynamics filter to all of your dialogue tracks. It's as easy as that. All right, that's it for this quick lesson on audio compression. I included a link below in the description to download a screenshot of the settings I like to use for the Dynamics filter I talked about, just in case you need it for future reference. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe. Feel free to leave your feedback and questions in the comments below. If you have a better, faster way of doing this, please share that as well. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like me to make a lesson about, join our Facebook group. That link is in the description also, and let us know what lessons you want to learn. See you next time.